What's up guys, so in this video I'm gonna show you top 10 must have application for your android device. All of these applications are really good and I'm sure that you'll find some applications for yourselves. So let's move on to the applications now. The first application on the list is called Faceheads. The wallpapers that you just saw on my devices were from this application. Uh, in this application you will find 365 unique wallpapers created by an Australian artist named Justin Maller. There are wallpapers of different variety and concepts. The UI of this application is very simple, uh, navigation is easy. You just need to swipe to change the wallpaper and double tap the wallpaper if you like it and you want to download that wallpaper. All high resolution wallpapers in this application is recomposed and resized for different screen sizes. So it will work in almost any Android device. So that's all about this application. Just give this application a try. The wallpapers are simply amazing in this application. The next application on the list is all in one toolbox. I have shown this application in one of my previous videos, but now it has received a major update, completely changing its design and improving its performance. So this application provides a lot of essential tools to improve your phone's performance. In the main screen, you'll find three options. The first one, called Boost, which will kill all of the processes currently running. You can choose which process you want to kill and which you don't. The next option is called Clean. From here you can clear cache and free up space used by unwanted files in your phone. The next one is called Toolbox. Here you'll find a lot of tools. Batch install and uninstall will help you to install and uninstall applications in a batch. Then you have backup and restore which will let you to backup an application and then restore it in case you delete the application or reset your phone. The next one is System App Uninstall which will help you to uninstall applications that came pre-installed when you bought the phone. Uh, Boot Speed Up will enable you to choose which application you want uh, to load when your phone boots up. And from Startup Customize uh, you can add applications that you want to load as soon as your phone boots up. You can also add plugins in this application. Uh, you, you can add Ad Detect plugin which will help you to remove annoying ads from applications so that's all about this application the next application on the list is action launcher 3 so that's the current launcher in my galaxy note 4 it's a simple launcher updated with material design with a very easy to use layout and a lots of useful features the design of this launcher is very similar to android 5.0 lollipops default launcher you can long press for menu which looks exactly as in Lollipop. Swiping from side will give you access to Quick Drawer where applications are sorted alphabetically. You also have the option of the traditional app drawer in case you don't like the side app drawer. In this launcher, folders are a bit different. You will find covers for a particular folder. Once you have set the cover for a folder, tapping it will open the cover application and swiping up will open the folder. It's a really useful feature, helps a lot. The next feature is called Sorters, uh, which will let you to open widget of any application with a simple gesture. You can swipe up the app icon to reveal the widget. Uh, this really helps you to keep the screen minimal and save screen space while having access to the widget. The next is Shortcuts. Uh, in this launcher, you'll find shortcuts which will help you to get things done very quickly. You can enable and disable those from the settings menu. You can choose to open Google Now by swiping right on the leftmost screen. Uh, you can swipe down from anywhere to open the notification panel. And you can swipe up from anywhere to open the settings of this launcher. You can also double tap or triple tap to turn the screen off while you are in the home screen. A very useful feature. And from settings, quick theme, you can choose between four different themes. Uh, from settings, layout, you can choose the top control menu. You can choose it to be Google Now or the action bar or nothing. And you can also choose the home screen grid size and the number of icons you want in a dock. 
From settings display you can choose to change the icon pack and you can also hide applications from here as well. So that's all about this launcher. It's a very fast, clean and simple launcher. The next application on the list is Sleep Cycle. This is an alarm clock which analyzes your sleep and wakes you up in the desired time, waking you up in a good mood. It uses the built-in accelerometer to do this. Once you open this application, you will be welcomed with a guide on how this application works and how to use it. From the first tab, you can set the wake up time and this application will find the best time to wake you up in a 30 minute interval ending at the time you just set. In the next tab, you will find sleep graphs where you will be shown a graph on how well you slept last night and below you will find some information on how much time you have spent in the bed. In the next tab, you will find settings menu. From here you can change the volume, the alarm sound and snooze time. Here you will find an intelligent mode which will determine when to snooze back again to gently wake you up. And from below you can set reminders which will be displayed to you as soon as you wake up from the advanced settings. So that's all about this application. The next application on the list is Tasker. Android allows users to do a lot of things due to its openness and Tasker application takes full advantage of it. It's an automation application, the best one in this category, which allows users to automate things like turning lock screen off at home, turning off Wi-Fi and switching to mobile data once you leave the home. A lot of things can be done with this application. So once you open this application, you need to create a profile, which will be the condition or conditions like Wi-Fi connected or battery power at 20%. When this condition is met, a task is triggered. You can toggle on and off a setting, uh, disable password, open an application, you can do a lot of things. In this case, you can dim the display brightness and turn off Wi-Fi when the battery is below 20% to conserve battery. The possibilities with this application is endless. If you want to learn more about this application, Check Armando's guide to this application, link below in the description box. So that's all about this application. This application actually makes your smartphone smart. The next application on the list is Cedar. This application is meant to kill lags in Android device. Uh, it does it by reducing the delay while launching application, uh, switching between them and while returning to the home screen. Uh, how this application works is that Android draws data from a predefined entropy pool, which is a random set of data. Many Android tasks consume a large amount of random data, so that it runs out frequently, causing Android to repopulate the entropy pool, which takes time. And at that time, the phone temporarily stops responding and you notice lag. Cedar generates that data in background and feeds the new random data so that it never runs out and there is no delay causing the phone to be faster. As this application requires to write data in system level, your phone needs to be rooted to use this application. Once you open this app, there will be three different levels, light, moderate and aggressive, which will determine the frequency. I suggest you to stick with the light mode as moderate and aggressive will impact your battery life a bit more. Nonetheless, you will see improvement on your phone once you get this application running. Battery consumption has been improved in the newer version, so I highly suggest you to try this application. This application can be found for free from XDF forums, linked below in the description box. The next application on the list is Snowball. This application aims to keep all of your messages in one place, messages from all apps like Messenger, Fiverr, Skype, WhatsApp, and a lot more. Once you install this application, you need to enable it from notification access from settings. Then swiping from top right corner opens a screen where all messages are grouped together to a single place. You'll also find shortcuts to individual application here. Once a message is received, you will 
see an on-screen notification displayed on the top of the screen with the message and the sender's name. No matter on which application you are, it will be displayed on the top of the screen. From settings, you can enable left-handed mode, which will change the position from top right corner to top left corner. So that's all about this application. It's a great tool if you use a lot of messaging services. The next application on the list is Here Maps by Nokia. Here Maps is a good alternative of Google Maps, but it's in the list because of its ability to work without an internet connection. Once you open this application inside menu, download maps, you'll find maps categorized on the basis of continents. Here you will find offline maps for more than 100 countries. Once downloaded, internet connection is not required to access these maps. You can get routes, turn by turn drive and walk voice guidance even without internet connection. And all of these features works like you would expect in Google Maps. You also have the option to view real time traffic for more than 40 countries. The UI of this application is very simple, uh, it's very easy to use. So that's all about this application. It's a good offline map having as information as Google Maps. The next application on the list is Afterlight. There are a lot of photo editing applications on the Play Store now, and finding a good one can be tiresome. But among all of these, Afterlight is gaining popularity as it is very simple to use and does a good job at what it's meant to do. Once you open this application, you'll find two options to load a picture. Inside, you'll find tools, just like most application provides, but with a lot of options. First, you'll find adjustment tools to change brightness, contrast, saturation, exposure, and a lot more. Then, you'll find filters divided in three categories, original, guest, and seasons. Inside each category, you'll find a lot of filters. Then, you'll find options to add effect to your photo. The first one is called Dusty. Again, inside it, you'll find a lot of effects to add in your photo, different kind of effects. And once you add an effect, you'll find tools to adjust it. The next effect is called Light Leak, which adds a cool effect to your photo. And here again, you, you'll find tools uh, to adjust the effect and an option to change the color. Then again, you'll find options to adjust the photo, uh, options to crop, resize, and at last, you'll find option to add frame to your photo. So that's all about this application. Overall, it's a very good photo editing application with all of the tools required for basic editing. The next application here is Skin Master. It's a video editing application with really good editing tools. It provides all of the basic tools for video editing. The layout of this application is very simple. Uh, from the add button here, you can add media files to edit. Then you can choose a theme. You can choose between a lot of themes available in this application. Then comes the main editor. You can select individual media to change a lot of things about it. You have adjustment tools here to change uh, saturation, contrast and a lot more. You can apply a lot of effects to that media add text you can also edit the transition between two medias so from here you can add music to your project you can swipe up the timeline to reveal the music and edit it from there so that's all about this application it's packed with advanced tools perfect for on-the-go video editing so that's all about this video hope you guys have found some applications for yourselves and do check out my useful tips for Android video series where you can find tips to improve battery life and improve the phone performance. Those videos will be annotated in the video here and linked below in the description box. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.